Hi guys, so I have the Black Series Darth Vader for y'all today. Um, I am late in the game on reviewing this guy. Um, they've already come out with Wave 3, but every single place, I swear, in the area where I am in Texas, and that is like all of DFW, every freaking place known to man, um, does not have anything past Wave 1, and it is killing me. Um, so... I am reviewing an old figure, um, but he is nonetheless, uh, he is not, um, by far, uh, shy of the other figures that have come out. Um, I am not a huge Darth Vader fan. I only have one other figure, and that was from the 2005, um, I guess it would have been, no, I'm sorry, 30th anniversary Darth Vader, and so very limited articulation. Just not a big Darth Vader fan, uh, but I see what the hype is about this figure, because I think he's great now that I have him. Um, on the back, I'll go ahead and read you the caption because it made sense to me once I read it. I'm like, why on earth, why on earth would they include Darth Vader with a blaster? Um, and the actual back describes what, what part in the, what figure, what, what, uh, movie they're capturing this Darth Vader from. So, um, it is the evil Sith Lord Darth, uh, Vader captures the rebel heroes when they arrive at Bespin's Cloud City. And that is also why it comes with this blasted, um, hand that deflected hand, the deflecting hand of the black, I don't know. So it comes with that, um, clearly, because this is when they Lando sets them into the trap. Um, I'll go ahead and give you the ex a look at the accessories. Um, you do get that little blaster, and I'm assuming this is Han Solo's. It does look like it, and it's got a brown handle, so that's a nice touch that they add on to it. Um, we have the blasted hand, the blast-proof hand, whatever. Um, so you can pop that into his wrist, or his forearm, and you can kind of get this really cool, I am deflecting your your shot thing. Yep. My verbiage is great. Um, it was kind of funny looking though. It is, if you don't know quite what's going on, um, especially when he's holding it like this, you're like, what is going on? But, um, I think it's still a good idea. Nonetheless, it gives you some, uh, other display opportunities. Um, and then lastly, you do come with his regular lightsaber, which is a must have for Darth Vader. And that's also nicely detailed as is the black series, um, items. Moving on to the best part, Darth Vader. Um, and he is all black, and so forgive me because this is not the great best camera to have. Um, just a really, really good sculpt. Just kind of go down down his body. Doo -doo -doo -doo. We need some music. Wah, wah, wah. No, just kidding. Um, he's got some soft goods uh, skirt and a cape which are really cool to add. Um, and I think he looks really, really dang cool. Um, definitely the best Darth Vader. And this is, this is soft goods as well. It's like tied into his belt. I love they added that feature because that's how it is. This is probably the most movie accurate Darth Vader to date. The more and more I look at him. So I'll go ahead and go over articulation. Darth Vader has a swivel head. Of course, if he had a ball jointed head, I'd be worried because he does wear a helmet that goes down to his neck. He can't look up or down really. Um, and, but it doesn't matter because he can sense stuff. He doesn't need to look, turn around. Um, he does have a ball hinge shoulder, elbows, uh, swivel wrists. No jointing in the, um, in the hands, but you know what? You can kind of forgive Darth Vader for bad articulation because he's like a robot. You got to work with what he's got, you know? Um, I, he's got a little, he's got like swivel activity in his torso, but that would mess up his little, um, skirt thing. Um, so don't move his torso. Um... Ball, well, just, yeah, just hinged knees, um, no, sorry, ball jointed knees, um, hinged thighs or hips, um, it looks like he does have a ball hinged ankle, um, so that's good too, he's got actually more, more articulation than the, than the actual character himself should have, he should not be able to move some of his body in that way, but in the figure, that's always great to display, and his cape does hold out a little bit, it is a little bit bigger than what it looked, wow, a lot bigger, wow, I can fly! No. Um, so it is a lot bigger. bigger. It can kind of cover him. Uh, but I like the way it was packaged with it kind of folded back a little bit and out of the way. And now I messed it up. It is not going to go back to normal. But anyways, that's this figure. Um, Darth Vader is fabulous. And I think they definitely did not short us out uh, with the Black Series. I think they did a great job. And I'm excited to add him into my collection. Um, so stay tuned for more videos, guys. Thank you.